Hey there guys, it's Remus Online here, and I'm giving you a post-recorded battle with my capture card. Yay! So this is a battle against Zero. I think he's a friend, or a passerby, or a uh, acquaintance, I can't remember which one. But he challenged me to a battle, and I decided to go ahead and do it. Um, he leads with Roserade, and I lead with the Fonz. Now the Fonz has Sludge Wave and Earth Power, um, and I knew I could lure out his Metagross by going for the Sludge Wave on the first turn, because both of those attacks deal neutral damage. He, I get the Avoid on the Grass Whistle, which is, a, which is brilliant, keeping himself awake. As I go for the Earth Power, as I did correctly lure out that Metagross, and that is going to be an Oko, that thing is down. So that was a great prediction. Luring out that Metagross has, meant, has just removed that threat from the field. As he goes into Alakazam, which I know is his Mega, and I don't want anything else to take a stab at Psychic. Um, Nido King has done his job, the Fonz has done what he needs to do, and I'm going to let him go down to the Alakazam. As Alakazam is able to trace Sheer Force, and he goes for that Psychic, which is going to get a critical hit, not that it mattered. Um, I'm not sure if Psychic has a secondary effect, but if it does, then that would have dealt a crap ton of damage. So here I go into Lord Helix, our Lord and Savior. Um, as he goes for the Psychic, which is going to proc my Focus Sash, but I am going to be able to get up a Shell Smash. After one Shell Smash, Lord Helix will rival um, Speed Deoxys in speed, if I'm not mistaken. Especially if I get my um, my ability off, and my ability is Weak Armor, which raises my speed and lowers my defense if someone makes contact with me. So I just go for the Stab Surf, and that is going to be more than enough to finish off Alakazam, but to rub salt in the wound, Lord Helix gets a critical hit. Now he goes into his, into his Crobat, maybe not expecting the Ice Beam, but I do indeed carry that, and that is going to Oko Crobat as well. I, maybe, I thought he maybe went into Crobat because I had a Focus Sash, but it doesn't, and it is going to go, go down and die. As he goes into his Roserade here, not entirely sure why he's foddering off his Roserade, as I am going to be able to get off the Ice Beam and take that thing out as well. Now this is the part that really confused me. He brings in his Arcanine, and I was like, well, I can see why he didn't want to bring it in, because it's a fire type against a water type, but he had the extreme speed. If he had just gone for the ex no, if he, if he had just brought this out straight away and gone for the extreme speed, Lord Helix would have died. Maybe he didn't know he had extreme speed, maybe he forgot the moves in his Arcanine. So here I go into Air Jordan. Um, Air Jordan's more of a special tank, but it's also a bit mixed as well, as he goes for the Wild Charge. Very interesting moves, because he's going to be doing some recoil damage to himself as I go for the Surf. Now, Air Jordan does not have any attacking investments, so that is not going to be enough to KO the Arcanine, who is naturally bulky. But I did get some lefties recovery. I'm not sure why he has Wild Charge, maybe just to counter water types. Um, but most Arcanine run um, close combat, if I'm not mistaken. So he is going to get a critical hit with that Wild Charge. Thanks to that, he is going to get KO'd by his own recoil damage. So the battle is pretty much won here, um, but I, now I wanted to do something like a finale. So the idea was his last Pokemon was Dragonite, and I wanted to weaken the Dragonite with Bird Jesus so that All-Terrain Venomoth could come in and finish it off. But unfortunately, things don't quite turn out that way. As I go for my Brave Bird, and it's going to deal some nasty damage to that Dragonite. As he goes to the Thunder Punch, it is not going to be enough to finish off Bird Jesus. Bird Jesus pulling the Survive, and he goes for the Brave Bird, and uh... Bird Jesus does your sins.